Like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? My demeanor? Like, what? My black man? I have a demeanor. No, what do you mean by that? Had black slaves. Had black slaves. That is the economy of Muhammad. The price of one Arab is worth two black men. What you are denying is that Muhammad had black slaves, and you can't deal with this truth. Abu Dawood, have you got that, yeah. that, that hadith again, please? Yeah. Uh, There's no more discussion. The voice yeah. of Islam. Yeah. So please. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah, yeah? A slave came I'm and gave his pledge. This is the Arabic. Yeah, yeah, so you wanted you. Arabic. Yeah. Right. A so slave came, to you gave his pledge right. to the messenger of Allah no, to emigrate. My, my to you now. And he, the prophet did not realize that he was a slave. But then we, his we, master we, came so, looking so, for him. So, so the prophet we, said, you, sell him to me. So he bought him for two black slaves. Then he did not accept until he asked, is he a slave? There's the Arabic. But that's your narrative, right? But hear the truth, right? It comes from your own book. He's saying that Muhammad didn't have slaves. Well, here it is, in Arabic. Can you read Arabic? Can you read Arabic? No. Can you read Arabic? Okay, it's there for you. Can we get another Arab to read it as well, if you, if you don't think that's the truth? Okay, so he no, go back, uh, we can go to a church and we'll see uh, Jesus Black. as a white man with that's blue not, eyes. That's not slave. So it's right there, look. The, uh, um, see? What? You don't even speak again? Arabic. It says Aswadan. Are you getting him? Oh my days, you're this getting guy. this guy. You can't even speak English and you get this guy. Look, bro. Are you simply are you saying? Are you saying? For two black slaves. Yeah, black slaves. Black slaves. Look. So you're saying that the word slave. Wait. It says for two wait. black slaves. Are you saying that you're are you denying this? Are you denying this? All these black slaves. Yes. Uh -huh. you know what means? No, you tell me. Okay. okay. Yeah. So black what? It says Aswadan Thumbalam Lam Yabar. Show me the word slave. Yeah. Show me the word. Two black what? So it just says two black. So what do you think the two blacks were? Two black people, what, what, what were the two black people? Yeah, but what were they? In what context? What were they? What were they acting as? What were they? What were these two black people? Servants. Huge. Okay, now, I've shown you my evidence. Now, you show me the evidence for, uh, for Bilal. So what did he do with him? What has he shown you done with him? He, they were slaves. Servants. But what did he do with him? Show they were me, slaves. Show me what the Muhammad peace be upon him did with him. They were slaves. They were, he, he could do what he wanted okay. with them. They Brother. Slaves. They were slaves. Yeah, so they were slaves. They were slaves. What, yeah. what did he do? What did he Brother, do? if you're what, a slave, no, it means he, you don't have the freedom what? to go. That, what did he... What did Muhammad peace it, be upon him? Brother, irrespective of so what he did Bilal, with them. Bilal was the voice of Islam. He, he, he converted he, 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 I want you to show me the evidence of what you're saying. Okay. Show me. I'm going to show you the evidence well, sure. that we go to a Christian church right now. No, I'll show you. I just want you to show me the evidence of Bilal. You, listen, I'll show you a picture of Jesus. And then, then this I want you to show me the evidence of Bilal. Let's go. Just show me the evidence of Bilal. I'm asking your friend here to show me the evidence of Bilal. He's going quiet and stum. I'm asking you for the evidence of Bilal. When you ask for the evidence of Muhammad owning two black slaves, you've read it yourself in Arabic. Your, your initial argument was, oh, I don't want to read it. Where's it in Arabic? You've now read it in Arabic and then you're denying. So he's now saying that somehow that the Arabic doesn't say servant. It's the Arabic says servants. Servants, not slaves. But uh, all I'm but simply saying to you, that's right? Why I'm okay. Laughing, okay. 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 You're laughing. You're, you're, no problem. No problem. No problem. You're laughing. What does that mean? Here's the problem. 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 Right? Muhammad. Whatever happened. Whatever happened was right. There was a trading and a bartering going on. For one. For two. Yes. So he was bartering, trading for one. So he's saying, I have two. Or rather, I'm gonna. Ha I have two, and I'm gonna take this it for is the one. Context. So, this is the context, I'm asking right? to you: Do you agree with that? So, do, would you do, would you would you barter and trade for servants? Don't run away! Come on! Don't don't run! Don't run! Don't run! Don't run! Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. No, no, no! He's running! He's running! Why not? Back in the day, one thousand five hundred years, people don't know how they lived. Did Muhammad know better? Yeah. Did he have slaves? Servants. No. <laughs> no, because it's like whenever I point out to you the word slaves, you use the word servants. Okay, so let's use your word servants. Were these servants allowed to go back home where they want to? Okay, then show me the evidence of this.
You don't have any evidence. So, so then why are you making this claim? Have, and why were they you're claiming? You're saying that he has slaves. Yes. Has slaves. But what evidence? You don't even have nothing. But I showed you. Yeah. I've shown you Sahih Bukhari and I've shown you Sunnah Abu Dawood. I mean, I mean, how they were shown the way of Islam. Brother, let me ask you something. Now you call me brother now, but now I'm taking Yeah, 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 because it's like if you don't want to be called brother, no problem. No, no, no. Listen. You're just saying that they had slaves, mm -hmm. they had slaves, they had slaves. Yep. But how how they were treated? Okay. How they treated? This is your argument. This is your argument, right? How they treated? If I okay, I'm gonna explain to you. Let's see. Let's say I have a servant or I have a slave. So your this is your justification. If I treat them in a certain way, in a nice way, in a good way, irrespective. In Nigeria. In see what I'm saying? Irrespective of the fact, are they free to go? If I own them, if they're my property, are they free to go? So then why are they servants? They work for you. They work for me. So the two slaves worked for Muhammad. So when he traded, wait, wait, wait. So when he traded them, when he traded them, could the two servants say, you know what, we don't want anything to do with this. We're going to look at the bounce. Why didn't they do this? But they wanted to work for the prophet. So you're saying that they willingly were slaves? Not willingly. Oh, so what, what was it then? They were unwilling slaves. What's your evidence for this? What's your history? What's, what, what, which history are you I've using? Never seen, I've never seen anyone who claims that the prophet has slaves. Okay, but I've, you've seen I've, it now. I've, I've read, I've read you've it, just seen it. I've read the text. You've just seen it. I've read the text. Yeah, yes. you've just seen it right now. It says, Asmadan. Yeah. Okay, you've just seen that there were slaves, in your words, servants. Okay, in your words, in your words, right? Okay, now these servants, they were not allowed to go. They had no say in the bartering and the trading. They were traded because they're property. You can only trade in... If, listen. If only if I possess something, right? That if I possess something, yes, it's my property. I can do whatever with it as I wish to. These two were human beings. They could not go as they wanted to. I think he had more than two, you know. Seriously. Slaves. Not seriously. Yeah. Brother, the reason why you're talking so quietly, I suspect, is because you're embarrassed by Muhammad having. You're embarrassed by Muhammad having slaves. You're embarrassed by this prophet having slaves. It makes you laugh because that's a nervous reaction. This reaction is what we call cognitive dissonance. But then again, I've read it as service. That's why I laugh. Okay. So you're saying, to you, and this is what I'm saying to you, right? You are smiling and laughing yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. And the reason why you're doing that is because you because are, you, you this is what they call you're, cognitive you dissonance, brother. Okay, maybe I don't understand. Maybe I don't. Understand. Maybe, I don't. don't. maybe I only read the word slave, and my understanding of slavery is that you have no freedom, right? That's what a slave is. You have no freedom. Yes, it doesn't matter how you're treated. The fact of the matter is you do not have the freedom to choose to go back to where you came from. Muhammad owned slaves. They could not be free. Why would another man choose to brother? This is insanity. This is the, you are justifying slavery. You are justifying slavery. Yes, no, you're changing it. You're calling slavery servanthood. You are calling slavery servants, and yet it calls them slaves. Sayyid Buhari says so, Sunnah Abu Dawood says so. I'm not changing anything. You're the one that's saying using the word servants. It says so that they were slaves. You are now using servants. You are embarrassed by this. And if I was embarrassed, I would be doing the same thing in your position. If I was embarrassed by Muhammad, I would do the same thing by you. Yeah? I would, if I, if Muhammad, if my, if I had a prophet, and honestly, he had slaves, I would simply justify that and it's, I would use anything to justify that. Why would I be embarrassed about my prophet? Because he had black slaves. It's not going to go anywhere. The fact that, you know, the, the fact that you are using the word servants tells me you are embarrassed by it. The fact that you are using the word servants tells me you are embarrassed by it. Even there, there was no a, problem. There, I have no denying of that. I, I don't deny that. Priest, I don't deny what, brother. I don't deny there that there were slaves back then. I guarantee you, a prophet, peace be upon him, treated his servants better than, than uh, your priest, the Christian. I don't deny that there were servants back then. I don't deny there were slaves back then. Wait, wait, what, no, you denying, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. what you are denying, what you are denying is that the, what you are denying I is that Muhammad had black slaves, and you can't deal with this truth. 
keep changing. You can't deal with it. That's why you're laughing and smiling about it. You can't deal with this. This is something that it cuts you. The fact that Muhammad had black slaves. It cuts. It cuts. It, it, it goes in deep. Have you heard of Bilal? But we've been asking. We've been asking. Have you heard of Bilal? I have. We have. Okay. We've been asking. How did you brother? Brother. Did he free him? Oh, we are simply asking. And someone else bought him, innit? So he asked, well, why free me if someone you didn't buy him? Did Prophet treat black people well or badly? We're just asking, did the Prophet where Salaam did Muhammad free Bilal? No. No. Right, you have no. 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 That's a lie. This is a big lie. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. So these are what we call claims. But when I show you that, it's not problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No, we never said that. We said that Muhammad had black slaves. You see, because we've read it again and again and again and again and again. He had slaves. No, no, no. He had, he had black slaves. Do you want to change the word? Yes. We didn't talk about how he looked at. Are you not going into it? Listen, listen. Do you want to change the word slave to servants? Do you want that? No. You want? Do you ask? Do you want to change the word from? Brother, this thing is deep, and it cuts. Answer my question. And the thing is, it's like you man there, you can't deal with this because, brother, brother, I would admit this. You want to change the word, but then why can't you accept it? Because that's what you're. To you, it doesn't mean anything, but I'm a black man, it means everything to me. So I'm a black man, it means everything to me. Yeah, everything. You're running right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're running, you're running. What are you doing now? What's that got to do with that? What's that got to do with Nigeria? Listen, the prophet was slaves in Nigeria. Held by Muslims. There you go. Well, there it is. It's related to slaves. Yo, one question. Bilal. Was he freed by Muhammad? Oh, okay, let's go back to the crew set no, Were they Christians or not? Wait, wait, wait. Who's the crew class clan Christians? But regardless of whether he was or he wasn't, uh, hello, Muhammad did trade clan. in black slaves. Yeah, exactly. Right. Did trade in black slaves. Were Christians. You can't say the prophet sent black people there. He needs to hang them up and then. Brother, we're not talking about Muhammad having a like or dislike of black people. No, that's that's something new that you're bringing up. No, that's what you're trying to emphasize. You're emphasizing something we've never argued. You are arguing that now, all of a sudden. We've never made that argument. Our argument has always been for the last hour, hour and a half. It's just simply been that Muhammad had black slaves. It's never been about Muhammad liking black people or disliking black people. We never said that. You can't come and throw that in our face, brother. No, but you. Wait, where, where do you get that from? Just from your demeanor. What do you mean? What do you mean? My demeanor. What? I'm a black man. I have a demeanor. What do you mean by that? Had black slaves. Had black slaves. He had black slaves. Whether he Bilal or not. Because it doesn't offend you. It doesn't offend you. You know why it doesn't offend you? You know why? You, that's my point. Because it doesn't offend you. Me, I'm a black man. So therefore, it does offend me. To you, it doesn't offend you. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Because the reason why it doesn't offend you is because you are a Muslim. You now see Muhammad as the perfect example to mankind. You now see Muhammad in a particular light. You now see Muhammad. You have a presupposition about Muhammad. I am not Muslim. I'm seeing Muhammad. There's no distinction between Muhammad and a slave owner in Alabama. There's no difference between a slave owner who owned black people and Muhammad. So just to prove that just to prove that Muhammad had slaves and Muhammad permitted slaves. Surah 424. Also prohibited are women already married, except those whom your right hands possess. Your right hands possess are those who are captive in jihad. That is slaves. And this is even worse because it's talking about sex slaves. How do you justify that? But he's, he's reading, he's not interpreting. He's reading. He's reading what your book says. He's reading, he's not interpreting. How do you how do you interpret it? Okay, no, I don't know. You want to go back and wait, 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 wait. This is the Christians in America choose black people. Wait, 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 wait. How do the Christians hold a second? The Arabic is here, right? Wait, wait, wait. Is that the Arabic is right there? But the Arabic is right there, so you read it in Arabic. 
you know what? You need an Arab. The Arabic is right there. According to the Hadith. But then why you use that as an argument against me? Yes. You don't want to hear that. But he didn't make a claim. He read it. He didn't make a claim. He read something in English. The Arabic translation is beside the English. You read it. Because, but he's making the point and he's made it valid. But the Arabic is right there. But he's read the English translation. The, the Arabic, the Arabic is there, the English is there. Brother, brother, Sahih al Bukhari. Narrated. Listen. How did the Christians Narrated. Sahih al Bukhari. Listen. Huh? Narrated Abu Sayyid that, al Qudri that while he was sitting with Allah's Apostle, he said, Oh, Allah's Apostle, we get female captives as our share of booty. And we are interested in their prices. What is your opinion about coitus interruptus? So, the prices of women, that's slavery. So Muhammad no, no, permitted no, no, no. the owning of slaves. Yeah, really That's from your own book. Okay, book. Okay, you finished. Well, You're there embarrassed it is. by can your speak? own sure. sources. Okay. Now does it, now does it, you can understand what you're saying now. But use some sources. No, can you understand now? No, no, no. It's your own book. It's your own book. They are captive. Uh, Why have they got prices? History, if you're going to back history, and let's talk about America. Well, they got prices. Oh, Chris, no, 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 no. You, you went there. Come on, man. You went there. You bring America. You went there. Yeah. Why you bring America? Why you bring America? You went there. Why you bring America? No, 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 we're talking about the prophets. Go to the prophet. no, we're not talking about America. You, you have just said that as if somehow that justifies that they're not slaves. So, they are Sam, so Sam has they just are said, let, let, Sam, I listen to you. I listen you to you. Let me reply, Sam. Wait, 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 wait. Sam, let me reply. So you've just said, that's that's your, your mum, bro. So let, let's just, okay, that's Mohammed's mum. There we go. There we go. So, 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 Sam has just said, so, so he just insulted my mum. So he just insulted my mum. He, he insulted, I was talking to him. Because he insulted my mum. Because he insulted my mum. So, so, so. So, Mohammed, oh, he's walking away. Hey, come, come and listen. Come so, and listen. Come and listen. Come and listen. so, are you listening? Come and listen, listen. So, you said, you said that they are captives and you can sell, you can sell them for money, you can swap them for other captives, and you can have them as your wives. Firstly, that is not what the Quran says. It says that they are your sex slaves in Surah 424. It says, also prohibited are women already married except those whom your right hands possess like and so we're it? talking about no because i'm leaving soon and uh, we're talking about what it says in sahih al-bukhari where i'm giving you al-qudri al-qudri said that while he was sitting with the prophet of allah he said oh allah's a possible we get female captives as our share of war booty and we are interested in their prices so if you own someone and they have a price, what is that called? Slavery. Slavery. So Muhammad was a slave trader. A Case closed. A End of story. Of the New Testament. Okay. Uh, uh, confirm. Uh, Luke 12, 47, 48. Oh, there's just Jesus a few minutes. Slave. Okay. Uh, and your Exodus 21, 7, 11. And the, and uh, as the practice of sex slavery, sell and own, daughter a uh, sex slave. This is in your Luke, own Bible. Luke, Luke, yeah, well, Luke, 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 12, 12 47, 47 48. to 48. Read it. Let's have a look. And you have Exodus 21, oh, one at a time, one at a time. 7, 11. 12, 47 to 48. Exodus, this one, this one here, 21, 12, 47, verse 2 and 6 and 1. Yeah, right, let's one, have a look. One, yeah, one, one. Okay. Read it. So, right. Let's just read it in context. Read it on context. Let's just read it in context. Please do. Yeah, are you listening? Because once again, as always with Yaya, we gain her exposed that he's not actually read the Bible. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for everyone? And the Lord said, who then is the faithful and prudent manager whom his master will put in charge of his slaves? 
to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. So Blessed is slaves. He's talking a about parable. Slaves. Yeah, but about slaves. He's using because slavery was commonplace at the time that he was speaking, he was using a parable using slaves as the image. What the difference is, Yahya, is that you cannot show me that Jesus owned a slave because he never owned a slave. But Yahya, your Muhammad owned a slave. Your Muhammad sold two black slaves to buy one Arab slave. So in the economy of Muhammad, the life of one black man is worth half that of an Arab. That is the economy of Muhammad. And this is supposedly the greatest man in the world. What utter Poppycosh! Jesus is a better example. No, show me where Jesus owned a slave. No, no, I didn't say he owns a slave. Do you admit he Jesus confirmed. did not own a slave? He confirmed a slave. Do you admit that Jesus did not own a slave? Oh my God, you're talking to Bob and Bob, he just want to pose a question answer, instead of answering because he don't like to answer. JC, you know, pull up the hadith where Muhammad, the great man of the world, sells two black people for one Arab. Look, look, I'm giving you Bible. Can you references. pull it up again? Look, wait, Leviticus 25, 44, 46. A slave property bought and sold. Look, uh, as I said, 12, 47, 48, Jesus allowance the beating of slaves according to the slavery. Exodus 21, verse 2 and 6, Hebrew slave, how to be treated. Exodus 21, 7, 11, how to practice sex slavery, how to sell and own even your daughter as a slave. And if a man sell his daughter as a servant, what slave that mean how much he need to 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 get paid and what are you on about and and uh, uh, as well uh, exodus 21 20 21 how to beat the slave and what happened when you beat them if they are dead or not so if you beat your own slave and she and he didn't die he recovered after two days it's fine but if he died you have to pay and you have to be punished but this is all according to your Bible. And Ephesians, no, not yet. Ephesians 6, uh, verse number 5. A slave, obey your earthly master with respect and fear. This is according to Mr. Paul, the deceiver, who take you away from the teaching of Christ. Peace be upon him. So, allow me to reply. The example that we Christians follow is Jesus Christ. That is who we are the disciple of, of Jesus. Uh, why are you interrupting? I'm sorry. Right. So, Jesus never owned a slave and he never traded in slavery. No. That is my example. Yeah. That is the one I follow. That's right. Muslims follow Muhammad. This is the example of Muhammad. A slave came and gave his pledge to the prophet, pledging to emigrate, and the prophet did not realize that he was a slave. Then his master came looking for him, and the prophet said, sell him to me. And he brought him in exchange for two black slaves. Two black slaves. That is the economy of Muhammad. The price of one Arab is worth two black men. That is the prophet. We Christians follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ never taught that we should practice slavery. Jesus Christ never 
owned a slave. Why are you Jesus a Christ Why are you never sold a slave. Why are you interrupting? Why are you, Why are you interrupting? Your, your so furthermore, my hearing, you're hurting me. furthermore, okay. read. Okay. Furthermore, Why are you interrupting? Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Please read it. Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Read it. Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Read it. Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Read it. Yaya. Why are you interrupting? Read it. Yaya. Why are you interrupting? I like to. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the Christian faith, <laughs> when we look at the writings of Paul, <laughs> when he addressed the issue of slavery amongst the community in the letter to on Onesimus, let's just uh, pull it up. Bear with us one second. Do you want to, I guess, I give me while some reference of the slavery and the Bible? Until I found it. Genesis 21, 21, 9, 10, Thank you. Exodus 20, 10, 17, Ephesians 6, 5, 8, Colossians 4, 1, Ephesians 6, 5, Galatians 5, 1, Exodus 21, 26, 27, Luke 12, 47, 48, this is the teaching of Christ. If you beat uh, uh, your, your slave with uh, many blows, uh, a few bl or a few blows, so he confirmed, confirmed, Jesus confirmed it. Leviticus 25, 44, 46. Deuteronomy 15, 12. Hey, I'm talking to him. What's wrong with you guys? Give us the context. Hey, yeah, yeah. hey. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, right. Listen, yeah, yeah. Hey, have some. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't preach about respect, bro. You can't preach about respect. Yeah, yeah. No, I found the passage. So, this is Paul writing to a slave owner. Listen to his words. Listen. In the letter of Philemon, writing to Philemon, reading from verse eight. Eight. Okay. For this reason. Though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do your duty. Listen. So this is his understanding that it is his duty as a Christian. Yet I would rather appeal to you on the basis of love. And I, Paul, do this as an old man and now also as a prisoner of Christ Jesus. I am appealing to you for my child... Onesimus, who was a slave, whose father I have become during my imprisonment. Formerly, he was useless to you, but now he is indeed useful both to you and to me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. Remember, he's describing a slave. I wanted to keep him with me so that he might be of service to me in your place during my imprisonment for the gospel. But I prefer to do nothing without your consent in order that your good deed might be voluntary and not something forced. Perhaps this is the reason he was separated from you for a while, so that you might have him back forever. Listen! 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 Listen, yeah, yeah. Listen, yo, yo. No longer as a slave, no. but wow. more than a slave, wow. a beloved brother. Wow. No longer a slave. No longer a slave. No longer a slave. Good night, yeah, yeah. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done.